Welcome to another Airbrush Asylum video. In this video, I'm going to do a quick unboxing and spray test of the no name battery powered airbrush by Spray Gunner. Let's get into it right now. So, as you can see, it comes in this nice box. I'm going to pull it out. And we have a little manual. So, showing you how to set it up, all the functions, the charging. So it also gives us some uh, information on what this little brush can do. The air pressure, so it's uh, 20 to 27 PSI. So charging, 1.5 hours, and normal use, one to two hours. So I'd imagine that they mean it's gonna take 1.5 hours to charge it so that you get one to two hours of normal use. Okay, anyway, we will test that out. Um, in this video, I'm just gonna do, as I said, a quick unboxing and spray test. I will do a more detailed video utilizing this particular brush. Yeah, I'll, I'll do some artwork with it. Okay, so just up close shot of the packaging and the airbrush. There's the battery. Let's go ahead and pull it out and fire it up. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull out all the components. So we've got our airbrush, color cup, the battery, and then under here, we're going to have another color cup, which is kind of cool. So see-through one screws in with a nice lid, seals up nicely. So obviously if you want to do some uh, larger canvases or something, then you could utilize this. Just have to see how the air pressure handles that. The battery, where you hook it up to charge. So there's the cable to charge it with. As I said earlier, USB type C. So this part clicks into the battery. And then this part here is your standard USB. Okay, so because this is first use, gonna go ahead and peel off the protective plastic. And it's got the little warning label there. Water wash not allowed, no warranty if water in. So that's pretty informative for you. So there's the battery, obviously the connector there, which will hook up to the bottom of the airbrush. So it'll hook up into that section there. So let's go ahead and do that. Doing it by hand. And just to let you know, this hasn't been charged or anything. This is the first time using it. So straight out of the box, I'm just gonna fire it up so when I do go to create some artwork with it, I'll obviously make sure it's fully charged and I'll see if it can get through a whole piece of artwork without losing charge and just to see how it performs as a whole. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and utilize the common color cup just to put it through its paces. Just screw that on. Okay, so you can see the indicator lights there to show the battery level. So I'm just gonna click that button once just to show you and it's saying it's fully charged. So the other thing that I noticed is that you can even just press down for air and that'll straight away turn the unit on. All right, so let's uh, go give it a go so you can hear it You can hear it working. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the air cap for the purpose of this test. Always like spraying without the air cap. First thing I'm gonna do is just put a bit of a uh, reducer in, spray that out. And then I'm gonna add some Trident Black my finger over the front, pull back to bubble it in the cup. Okay, so pressing down for air, pulling back for paint. No problem shading. Up close, do some fine lines. It's definitely something to get used to. So I might need to thin out my paint a little bit more. It seems to be spitting a little bit, but it's definitely an interesting sensation not having anything like an air lead hooked up to the airbrush. So it seems to be pretty good with heavier, heavier sprays, but again, this is Straight out of the box, you can see it's flowing nicer now. Okay, 
Yeah, it's a bit better. Let me just go ahead and put some reducer in that. So I'll add some more reducer. All right, so we'll just give that a bit more of a squirt. If you need more tips on how to reduce your paint and what ratios I use, then um, jump in the description below. I'll have a link there to a video explaining all of that for you. Yeah, it's better. It's definitely handling fine lines. So we'll go ahead and do some fine dots. Oh. So keeping that air pressed down at all times. You can hear that little battery working. This would be very, very handy for um, makeup artists, even um, spray tanners if they need to do a couple of little touch-ups. Okay, let's see how it goes if we do a bit of a heavier spray. Let's try and coat that. So we'll put it under a bit of uh, strain. Obviously, um, because it's running at such a low PSI, it's going to take a little bit more to cover. You know what? That's still... Pretty generous. It's definitely pumping on some paint. I mean, you could coat a canvas with this, no problem. So definitely excited to do an artwork with it and see how it really performs. But, um, I mean, it's just such a fantastic idea that you don't need a compressor. I mean, I definitely will be taking this to shows because I think it's something that would be handy if I just need to do a quick touch up on something, or it's just great to have the flexibility of. If you've packed everything away and you think, oh, I've just missed a highlight, or I want to add something else to that design, or even if you had another colour loaded up in this, I think it, it's, it's a great idea. Definitely to be fantastic for um, temporary tattoos as well. So I can definitely see the benefit to a lot of airbrush artists. But um, I will give it a really good go, put it through its paces, and the only way to do that is to create an artwork with it. So definitely keep an eye out for that video. Another quick look at the canvas. So also a bit of getting used to because I'm holding on to that uh, battery pack. It's not too bad actually, it kind of gives you a little bit of comfort. So check out some of the other videos and playlists that I've got listed here. And until next time, go grab your airbrush, do some amazing artwork yourself, and I'll see you again very, very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.